I need a rain jacket possibly later. You sure will. Later today, we're looking at a really welcome change here in our weather pattern that we've been warning you about all week, and I think uh, everybody's going to welcome it with open arms this afternoon. Here are your weather headlines to start you off. First of all, a nice break from the 100 degree heat after five days in a row here in the Austin metro, over 100, including that 105 that we made it to yesterday, tying the daily record. We'll be a little bit cooler today and really for the whole week going forth. Here's the reason. Increasing climate clouds later this afternoon and some beneficial rainfall I think for pretty much everybody in Central Texas throughout the next five to seven days. Rainfall already showing up this morning on Viper radar. Not so much here in the viewing area. We did have a couple little light showers an hour ago in Bastrop and Caldwell counties. Those have now moved off towards the south. But look at this main complex of showers and thunderstorms now trekking southward on I-35 from Oklahoma City down through Dallas. And as we go through the late morning hours, some computer models are actually holding this complex of showers and storms together as it progresses southward into the viewing area. So we'll have to see if that materializes. Current temperature 81 degrees. It is warm ahead of this storm system here in town. 79 in Llano, even above 70 out in the usual cool spot of Fredericksburg, mainly upper 70s east of I-35 with a nice 78 degree reading this morning in Bastrop. All right, let's take a broader look at this pattern and see exactly what's going on that's going to bring us down below 100 degrees today. Look at this nice river of moisture flowing southward. You see those clouds that are starting to increase here in central Texas, and they'll continue to do so as these rain and clouds move southward from north central Texas. Here's the reason. We were tracking this nice spin in the clouds yesterday for you. Remember, it was all the way over here in the Ohio River Valley this morning here in central Arkansas. So it's continuing. It's very unusual track off towards the west. This is the opposite direction of the way these things usually move and also unusual because of a little tropical influence here. You remember uh, tropical storm Chantal that sort of dissipated as it moved towards Florida and the Bahamas. Well, all the moisture is still sitting right here, and this big counterclockwise flow around the low pressure system is actually scooping up all of that tropical moisture and swinging it around the low pressure system. That's why we have this northerly river here of clouds and rain heading our way. Let's take a look at how exactly this may play out here in clouds and radar forecast in just a moment. Here's the pattern we're really going to see this week. Low pressure will be sitting off to our west as that continues its trek uh, through the state today. Heaviest rainfall will likely be to our north north, but we're still expecting widespread two inch or more totals throughout central Texas over the next five to seven days. Clouds and radar forecast breaking it down for you starting this morning. Keep an eye off to the north. There's that little complex of showers and storms moving through Dallas right now. Our computer holds it together through the noon hour, so we may get some light to moderate rainfall throughout that period, but mainly increasing clouds today with an increasing chance of rain and then getting even better for rain chances tonight. Look at that San Saba land passes counties around 2 a.m that could progress southward into other parts of the viewing area overnight and then some scattered showers and storms likely continuing throughout the day on a very cloudy and much cooler Monday. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch just for Lampasas and San Saba counties as the heaviest rain will likely be off to our north. Two to four inches, though, possible up there in those counties with isolated totals even greater, maybe up to five inches. Today, 97. I think that's the warmest we could get before those clouds and rain set in. This evening should be a little bit wet. Temperatures in the 80s. Overnight tonight, some showers and storms again, likely 71 degrees thanks to some of that rain cooled air. How about cooler temperatures? 87 for a high temperature tomorrow is all we can do with all of those clouds and rain in the picture and some decent rain chances really extending all the way through Thursday, Friday and even Saturday of the coming week.